What's up my friends, first of all, Happy New Year to all of you guys watching this video. Today I will take a look at the 10 predictions I made for 2023 and see if I was wrong or not about most of them. But before I go into the video, can I ask you for one thing? If you can leave a like on this one, thank you so much for that. It's the best way to show support. If you are new to my channel, also consider to subscribe. No. Okay, so do I think it matters if I was correct or not about those 10 predictions? Of course not. I do this for fun and at the end of the day, uh, sometimes I even take some risk in a couple of predictions to make the video fun. But uh, let's start with the number one. The slides I will show to you on this video are the slides I did one year ago. I end up saving them. So let's uh, see if I was correct or not in most of my predictions. The first one is at least two major new hookies will be discovered in pre-modern and I was wrong on this one. So I said this in, <laughs> in 2023, one year ago, the soccer card market is still in its early phase, many things will be discovered. Of course, I still think this is completely true and I suspect that um, eventually more uh, key rookies will appear in our market, could be in vintage, could be in pre-modern, but they will appear. I, I'm, I'm super confident that we are still in a very early phase. In the other end, and this is basically the, the counterpoint, uh, I'm actually happy that uh, let's say, an, there is no new Cristiano Ronaldo rookie in the market, uh, because that would... Uh, probably shake up things in a bad way. If he's a less player like Benzema or even like Buffon, I think the market can adapt if, if for example, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo or a Messi, things can get uh, a bit more tricky. Uh, that said, I said this was a fun prediction, um, but end up being wrong. Uh, I will, not, I will not say I'm sad to be wrong on this one. Actually, I'm, I'm more happy than sad because even if we are in an early phase, maybe a lot of players already have, the, at least in terms of um, the potential checklist for them when it comes to early years, we may be already aware of most of the stuff. No, the prediction number two. It's not going to be a great year in the collectible space. Main reason, macroeconomics. Of course, this is completely uh, correct. Uh, this one I'm sad to be correct because the market ended up going down in 2023. I would say um, one exception, maybe the messy market because it ended up, uh, overall, overall being quite strong. I think the World Cup plays a, a huge influence in, in, in all of this. Also going to, to Miami, but overall, and talking about the collectible space, not just about the soccer card market, and even more specific about the Messi market, I think this year was not good at all. If you are a basketball collector, you are seeing pain uh, in the entire market. Look, I, I follow the Magic the Gathering market quite close, and a lot of things are also not doing very well there. Soccer, the, the same thing. I said this, very difficult to predict the future of any market, <laughs> and this is true, but to be honest, now looking back, this is seems an easy prediction. I can be very wrong on this one. I was not. And uh, one thing that I always say, is, and I totally believe in this, and I actually believe we are seeing some of that, uh, not in the collectible space, but in uh, markets that are, let's say, real markets when it comes to people putting uh, a, a lot of money, that the sentiment changes quite fast. And all of a sudden, interest, interesting rates in Europe are, are going down again. Again, no financial advice, as you guys can imagine, but basically I'm already seeing a shift and that shift tends to be a bit faster than people realize. Uh, I also said cards with great fundamentals can still hold slash increase, but in general, I do expect a positive... Uh, uh, I, this, this was a, a typo, by the way. I do expect a negative here, like, like I, was, I was saying in the, in, in the title. Uh, the prediction number three was this. International growth in the soccer card market will be big. I think this one is a bit more debatable, but overall I think uh, we should consider this correct because uh, we saw shows in, uh, in Paris, we, show, we saw a lot of shows in London, uh, also in Germany, so I think the, the growth was quite big. How big? So those, these type of predictions are always difficult to, to quantify um, or qualify, quantify and also qualify, to, to, to be fair, because um, what's a success for me on this prediction, maybe not for you, so it's all about uh, expectations. Probably one topic, uh, one of the top, one of the topics I'll, I'll, I talk the most since I started this channel, I said this last year, our market is special for multiple reasons, but one of them is the crazy international potential. I think this is totally true. Um, this year I expect more, more of this and other fund predictions. US will be 
below 35% on my Discord members. So I end up checking this one out and this is not true actually. Um, I mean, uh, US is still actually the, the I, I don't remember the percentage from the top of my head, but, uh, but US uh, is is still above thirty five percent. I believe is around forty two. Is down that the thirty six percent you are seeing on the screen, but still higher than thirty thirty five percent thirty five percent. But the logic was still uh, there. Now, the, the prediction number four, the topic of 2023 will be AI and this will make trading companies start working on new technologies. I think this is true. Uh, I've been seeing uh, interviews of different grading companies talking about AI. We may not be aware of a lot of AI technology that goes into the grading process. Uh, there, there is a company that I believe the name is Tech that just grades with AI, for example. So AI is actually becoming more relevant uh, in the um, in the card space. And saying that AI was the the topic of 2023 was totally correct. Uh, the chat GPT conversation. Uh, um, even the stuff that, that Google is, uh, Google, Amazon, uh, at this point, all, all companies are working in, in AI. Um, but basically, this topic was uh, all around the internet. Uh, you eventually end up talking with friends about this. Uh, so I thought this, this was a, a good uh, prediction. Uh, when it comes to uh, PSA, BGS, SEC, I also believe they are already working on this type of stuff uh, and will become more evident uh, next, no, not next year, this year. But I will leave this for uh, um, a new video where I will make uh, 10 predictions. Now, the prediction number five was Messi versus Ronaldo. The, the debate will be, be over when it comes to cards. The gap will keep increasing. And my friends, this is of course true. Um, so when uh, Messi ended up winning the World Cup, I made a video that was a bit controversial probably, where I said, uh, guys, forget, forget about uh, now Messi and Ronaldo are not in the same league anymore. I think the World Cup uh, changes the perspective in terms of greatness of both players. And uh, I got some hate for that, and uh, that, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm not even complaining, but I think my video ended up uh, aging quite well, and I don't see a scenario. I mean, actually, I see a scenario, but I think it's so unlikely that Ronaldo wins the next World Cup, for example. But he is he, very, very unlikely. Probably Ronaldo will, will not even play in the next World Cup, or even if he plays, it's still unlikely that... Uh, he wins. So I think this is true. I think the, the number one player in our market in pre-modern is Messi by a large margin. Uh, in vintage, I think is uh, is Pelé. But I would say even another thing that some people may disagree right now. Or maybe I should save it for the next uh, the next uh, video. Actually, I will save it. By the way, leave a like if you if you would like me to to do a, a new video with my 10 predictions for 2024. Moving on, <laughs> the, the Q&A and uh, the Discord, by the way, I still have a Patreon. I put a video every month there. Uh, if you join right now, you have more than 100 videos, so take a look at that. And we still have the Discord. At this point, it was over 900 members. Right now, it's over 1.2k members. So a good growth there. Number six, Messi all-time sale, uh, Alpha Million will be broken. I was wrong on this one, actually very wrong. But uh, I also thought this was... Probably one of the craziest predictions I did in the 2023 video. Very risky, very risky one. Like I said, I do not expect a great year for the collectible space. So this was almost, um, th there was very logic behind apart from some emotion um, and trying to be positive also about the, the messy market that was doing very well at the time. Do I think eventually this record will be broken? Yes, I, I think eventually will be broken. There was a couple of strong sales in 20, um, 2022, 2022, 2023, uh, the one of ones for uh, the Prism stuff. Uh, also, some Messi have one bees. Messi is holding much, much better than Cristiano Ronaldo, but this is wrong. So it is what it is. Uh, I also said, uh, um, imagine if a top scrum uh, one of one from 17 appears on the market. That was not the case. Same going for Prism, even though Prism, I believe, uh, a gold PS9 ended up appearing. No. Uh, Prediction number seven, BGS or SEC will have big changes and grading prices will keep uh, going down. This is a difficult one for me to evaluate. You, you, you can tell me on the comments if you think I was correct or not. Uh, I think uh, you can see this in both perspective. Big changes, uh, see these type of predictions, again, they are more for fun because how can I actually say if I was correct or not? It depends in your perspective. Uh, I think there was some changes uh, in BGS, in SEC. SEC, for example, right now, have um, 
para essas armas de slower, erva mobile app, PSA have a bunch of specials, I believe prices are lower than at the time I did the, the video, but um, this take I still think is is valid for for this year. I think prices will will go down. I think a lot of those grading companies will struggle to to have cards because the market um, is not showing great sign great signs of recovering. But again, I will make that in another video. I need to take a look at some data. Um, but yeah, fun one. Difficult to to say if I was correct or not. Uh, Number eight, another difficult one to say if I was correct or not, but this one I go more with my feeling, if that makes sense, since I, I interact with uh, so many collectors on my Discord and also on my YouTube channel, also on Patreon. Pre-modern and vintage may have a bad year, but these two markets will grow more in will grow more in terms of true collectors. And I think this is true. So I think there is less people in the soccer card market, but I think we have more collectors. That does not reflect prices, and that's a reality that some people do not understand. It. Of course, when there is a positive sentiment in the market, when there is bull runs all over, everything will do well. But right now, I think we are in a consolidation phase. Collectors are buying cards and are putting them away. But this can take this can take 10 years, my friends. And uh, it is what it is. But uh, our market is quite, quite healthy. Prediction number nine. I will create a new channel related with collectibles and uh, have at least 20 videos there. So this one is wrong and correct at the same time. So I actually created a new channel, but I don't have 20 videos there. I have like, uh, I don't know, five or six, uh, something like that. Uh, but I would say in general, my idea was correct and I already created the channel. I've been a bit, um, <laughs> I, I, I've been not updating the channel at all, I have to be honest. Actually, um, not sure if you guys are still watching the video or not, since most people just watch the, the first minutes, but uh, uh, tell me if you would mind uh, for me to put the videos I have there now on this channel and uh, basically put everything here and uh, because managing two channels related with collectibles is a bit too much. I also have another channel that, that I'm working related to with other stuff that is doing very well. But um, yeah, this one is correct or not. I'm not sure. If you want to check out uh, the channel I created, I talk about Magic the Gathering there, Pokemon. I, I believe I have a link below my description. If Since I, I need to copy my description from video to video, if not, I will put uh, for this one. So that was, I would say, wrong and correct at the same time. Prediction number 10, uh, I failed this last year and I will try it again. My channel will be 3k subs and the Discord at 1.5k. So I was wrong on this one. Uh, okay, so I was wrong on this one. I was not sure why this was not appearing. Um, it is what it is, my friends. I mean, the market is not uh, um, as hot as it was uh, once on, once upon a time. But uh, I think like uh, right now, you know, uh, staying, I was at one at 2.1k, right now I'm 2.5k. I think it's still a decent growth. Of course, I would be much happier with 3k, but it is what it is. And the, the Discord has around 900 members. Right now I have 1.2k. Um, so I also think that's a great, great number. Uh, I will try to, to be a bit more conservative if I make new predictions for this one. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy, no matter the, the, the numbers I have here on YouTube. And I think, look, um, it was easy to make videos when the market was doing very well. And a lot of credit creators stopped doing videos. But um, I'm not one of those guys, as you guys are aware. I, I actually stay here and um, maybe not. I will not post as, as much videos as, as, I, as I did in the past. But the reason is not uh, less views, to, to, to be honest, my friend. The reason is I'm going to be that soon and I expect the next year uh, 2024 for me will be a busy year um, but I will still find time to, to put content on uh, YouTube so yeah my friends check the Discord check the, the Patreon Patreon is the best way to support me if you really want and uh, yeah see you guys next time bye